A famous letter by the Roman Audrelius Lentulus described Jesus Christ in great detail. He was an eyewitness to Jesus Christ, he knew him, and he sent letters to, Julie, to uh, the Caesar of Rome many a time because they had to give reports to the Caesar. Now these here are a few images of Jesus Christ who has appeared to various people in this past century. He asked them to take pictures of him because he says they need to see my face as I was when I walked among you because this will make people believe that I actually did exist. There are too many people who do not believe in me nowadays. That's what he, and you notice that he basically takes the same position. Uh, most of the time he has the same position. And here he asked the person who took the picture of him from Colombia to make him look like a bridegroom. He has his head covered as a bridegroom. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. This famous letter of the Roman Aurelius Lentulus describing Jesus Christ in great detail. We have numerous eyewitness accounts and they left letters. Uh, Pontius Pilate was regularly writing to Rome to Caesar. I know we know that Pontius Pilate was the governor of uh, the Holy Land of Israel, Palestine at that time. The uh, years that Jesus Christ was uh, ministering there and many times he would be able to listen to him from his portico down below and uh, we also have the letter of high priest Gamaliel who was the Apostle Paul, St. Paul's teacher high priest Gamaliel believed in Jesus Christ after Christ's resurrection and the high priest Gamaliel's letter describing Jesus Christ is in the uh, Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., by the way. U.S. has the blessing of uh, owning that letter. It's in the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. If anybody lives around there, you can go and actually read the original thing. These are now little uh, icons of, this is 6th century of Jesus Christ. You'll see if you put your hand your finger over one part, one of his face, you'll see that half his face is mercy, the other half is judgment. Love, God is love, but he's also judgment. So this is 6th century icon, and the other one before that was a 4th century Roman catacomb mural of Jesus Christ. Yes, they had murals of events of uh, various saints, the lives of saints, including our Lord Jesus Christ, and even the Blessed Mother, his mother, the Virgin Mary, and the saints. Now, going to this letter by, the, uh, by Aurelius Lentulus, the uh, Roman. The letter was kept in the Caesarean Library of Rome. As we said, uh, Pontius Pilate and various officials wrote to Rome regularly because Caesar wanted updates every so often, especially from an area uh, such as Israel, which was always having riots and stuff. Um, so, this letter was kept in the Caesarean Library. I'm translating it from a Greek article, and I'll leave a link below for you. Um, it was sent to Rome to Emperor Tiberius Caesar Augustus by the governor of Judea before Pontius Pilate came and took over. Uh, this was um, Puvlio Lentulu. Lentulus. Publio Lentulus was governor before Pontius Pilate. And the famous letter said, quote, I heard, O Caesar, that you wish to know about Jesus Christ, a man of great virtue, whom the people regard as a prophet. And his disciple claimed to be the Son of God. His disciples claim that he is the Son of God, the poet of heaven and earth and all creation. Uh, poet meaning the creator of heaven and earth. I'm sorry, I'm transit. The creator of heaven and earth and uh, all of creation. 
And it is true, O Caesar, the great things are heard daily about Jesus Christ, that he resurrects the dead and heals uh, the sick with his one word. He is a moderate, good-looking man, moderate uh, meaning moderate in height. A moderate in height at that age was about six feet tall, uh, five foot ten to six feet tall. Okay, um, He's moderate in height, good-looking man, surrounded with dignity, especially in his face, so that all who look upon him feel the need to love and fear him at the same time. His hair has the color of ripe hazelnut. To his ears, it goes up to... Uh, uh, okay, wait. Ripe hazelnut, and uh, it's up to his ears and up to his shoulder. It behind his, uh, covers his ears and it's behind. It's up to his shoulders, and it's wavy. Okay, the hair is the color of ripe hazelnut to his ears, reaching down to the shoulders. It is wavy, where they are, it turns pale and glossy. Uh, it's, it has a parting on the top of his head um, in half, so that the top of the head is, a, is a matter, the manner of a Nazarene. In other words, uh, his uh, hair parting is not on the side of the head or any side. It's just in the middle, and the hair flows on each side of the head, all covering the ears, and it uh, flows to the, uh, to the uh, shoulders. His face is smooth and serene, while his face bears no wrinkles or spots. His nose and lips are perfectly normal and harmonious. His beard is dense and has the same color as his hair. It is not long, and it is split in the middle, meaning that under his chin, uh, it's got like two little parts. Okay, his gaze is serious. He exudes fear and respect, and has the power of sunlight. Uh, in other words, his eyes are so uh, penetrating that uh, they can see through through you as if they're looking at your soul. Okay. Um, no one can observe him intently in, as, and persistently. He is awesome in his verbal attacks, but sweet in his intentions. He is lovable and happy, but serious. They say they have never seen him laugh, but have seen him cry and cry many times. He has well-formed hands and arms. The conversation, his conversation is totally enjoyable, although he has the most beautiful stature like his mother, who was the prettiest woman seen in these places, she is modest. But if you, a Caesar, wish to see him, as you wrote to me, to tell, uh, to let me know, for I will send him for, forthwith. However, in Jerusalem they admire his wisdom, though he has not studied any science, and yet he possesses all knowledge. He walks without shoes and without covering his head. Many who see him thus surround him, but when they are in front of him, they tremble and admire him. They say that such a man has never before appeared in these places, and has never heard a sermon like his. Indeed, many Jews regard him as God. Of, gar of course, others tell me, O Caesar, that he is an enemy of your majesty. The Jews often harass me, telling me that he has never hurt anyone, but on the contrary, he always does good and brings pleasure to anyone close to him. Meaning here that uh, the people of Israel were telling Lentulus that Jesus was uh, always doing everything good, everything uh, uh, proper, and um, always causes joy and peace among people. And that's why everyone wanted to always be close to him. But I, who always obey you, O Caesar, declare you that I am willing to do as you please. And it's dated here in Jerusalem, in Diction, in Dicton, in Dictos 7, meaning in Dictos is the month of September. It says here September 7th, uh, moon 11, um, faithful and well-versed 
in your majesty Publius Lentulus, governor of Judea. And uh, this was published in the Greek newspaper Acropolis, the uh, 11th of April, 1936. And I'm reading it to you from um, Strange Press GR, and I'll leave a link below for you for this.